Welcome to the Citrix Endpoint Management Android Enterprise Advanced Management Feature Series. My name is Jeroen Lebon, a Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager at Citrix, and I will be your host for this video series. In this video series, we are going to show you how to configure Citrix Endpoint Management with Android Enterprise Advanced Management Policies. We will explain the Android Enterprise Advanced Management feature and will show you how it's configured in Citrix Endpoint Management Administrator Console and show the end user experience on the device. In the end of the video, we will provide you some reference links for you so that you can discover this functionality more in depth and how to use them in your Citrix Endpoint Management deployments of your organization. Enjoy this video and let's get started. This video will be about managing web apps. A web app turns a page into an Android app, making it easier to find and simpler to use on a mobile device. A web app looks like a native app in a device launcher, and when the user opens it, the Chrome browser renders the web page in the selected display mode. You can distribute web apps the same way you can native apps. This includes adding them to the collections in the managed Google Play Store and remotely installing them on the device. To create a web app, you need to specify a title that is shown on the device on the managed Play Store and on the launcher, a start URL that the web app opens to, a display mode that defines how the web app is displayed on the device. You can also set an icon for the web app to help users identify it. Icons are optional, but recommended. Let's switch to the Administrative Console. Lock in with your Administrative Credentials. Go to the Configure tab. This will give you an overview of all the configurations that are available for your devices, including the apps. Select the Apps tab and select Add. This will give you an overview of all the apps that you can deploy with Citrix Endpoint Management. Select WebLink. Provide a name for your web link. If appropriate, select the app category. Clean out the other platforms and select Android Enterprise. Select the upload button. This will direct you to the Manage Google Play to create web apps. Fill in the title for your web app. Also include the URL for this web app. Additionally, you can select the display layout and upload an icon. If all configurations are done, select Create. You will get a notification that the creation of the web app can take up to a minute. Additionally, you will see a notification that the web app is currently not available. It will take up to approximately 10 minutes before Google has provisioned the web app. Select your right mouse button and refresh. You now see that not available notification is gone. Select the web app and now you can select it for publication. Click next and attach the appropriate delivery groups. In this case, I will select two. Select Save. This will make the web app available for your Android Enterprise users. Now let's switch to the Android device and have a look at the user experience. As soon as the administrator has published the web app, the web app will appear on the endpoint. Chrome browser needs to be installed. And as soon as the user selects the web app, the web app will be opened in the view that you have configured in the creation of the web app. In this case, this is a full device view and the Citrix Endpoint Management website is shown as a native application. You also get a notification that the app is running in Chrome browser. Please have a look at the following references for more details on the Android Enterprise Advanced Management feature.
Thank you for watching this Android Enterprise Advanced Management video, and we hope that you tune in next time.